<clears throat> Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, December 17th, 2019, Selectman's meeting. We're having a meeting tonight since we're not meeting on uh, Christmas Eve. Is um, all the selectmen are here, the town managers. Oh, Ed will be here. He will be, he's running late. Um, the town manager's here. The town clerk just ran out. And other than that, we're here alone. Uh, please stand with me and salute the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, we have a very small agenda tonight as we're going to skip through a lot of these things as uh, we do have our uh, meeting minutes from uh, December 10th. I'll make a motion that we approve the meeting minutes from December 10th as presented. Second. Um, is, uh, Mark, you were absent. So right. is all those in favor? And one abstention. <clears throat> Yeah, since no public is here, we won't have any public comment. We have no public hearing. Is uh, I did have a note from James for um, for the Envision Berwick. It says if you have any last minute holiday shopping, is they have sweatshirts, t-shirts, stickers, and more to be purchased for the holidays at BerwickMaine.org/community/shop, or you can come to the town hall and pick them up here. It says, we are in the very early stages of planning year two of bringing your lawn chairs to Sullivan Square. Year one was a major success and we look forward to making it even better in year two. And then finally, the comprehensive plan survey will be ending soon. Paper copies are available at the town hall or the survey can be taken online at berwickmaine.org slash survey. Um, <clears throat> run down through. We have no department appoint reports, no appointments, um, unfinished business. Uh, did you want to take time for any town manager's report? Yeah, I just got a few things. Um, okay. Just want to make sure the public knows that the sand and salt mix is available to the public for these awful storms. Uh, the gates are usually open when the, the crew is out uh, um, sanding and plowing. The sand and salt shed is to the left of the salt shed. The salt shed stays locked because we've had a lot of abuse. Uh, but it, there should be plenty of sand and salt available to the public. Um, what else? I, and that's really, we're pushing ahead with the construction and fire station. And we've been talking to uh, architects about uh, trying to get our, uh, this building in ADA compliant and looking at an elevator. Uh, which we can talk about uh, after the first of the year. Otherwise, we're getting ready for the the budget. Uh, and, uh, oh, where James. Would you, where would you put an elevator in this building? Where? Uh, where would we put one? Yeah. Well, there's been two proposals since I've been here. We've talked about one they thought would go in the center of the building, upstairs, where the uh, ent entryway it, is. It, in between, if you look at the auditory and, well yeah. if you look at the auditorium on the second floor the doors going in there's three sets of doors yeah. is one of the proposals was to take where the middle section of doors is and putting an elevator in there to service all three floors but yeah. there's it, another proposal that we talked with uh, Mike Lassell about yesterday and I, I, I like this one is yeah. to be to build uh, on this side of uh, the front part of the building and have a separate section built and we could go up to the third floor with that it has to be five feet from the foundation they really don't want to build right directly on the foundation because it's old and uh and it would cost more if we had to go in and reinforce the foundation and stuff what about why can't we do it in that stairway the other stairway on that side well going up egress we got we got egress over here i right? know chief fire the front chief door, the front door no can't use that either huh? no for egress so, but he's, he's got some ideas that we talked about yesterday, actually, with him about building up on the outside. You'd have the parking, front parking lot, 
would be a handicap accessible uh, and you could get right to the entryway to that. Um, so that would work really well. Um, I'm sorry. You're going to have to take it out of brick. Yeah. It match the building. That's it would match the building, right. but it would be, uh, you wouldn't compromise the, this, this structure. Uh, plus, you, it would not require them to do work in the building while we're <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, cutting something. through the floors and the foundation. Oh, yeah. So it's, right. it's a, something that we, we're going to talk more about later on in the workshop. But I, I kind of like that idea. It's a little bit less obtrusive, and, and it should. Uh, these guys are pretty. Con, uh, uh, yeah, I, I spoke. I spoke briefly with uh, both the guys from Landry and French and uh, uh, Port City at our last meeting last week. You yeah. know, just briefly about it. And they they said the same thing. You know, the the easiest way in an old building like this would probably be to do some kind of external yeah. structure. You know, the the the. The task would be to make it you no know, blend in with the rest of the building, right, yeah. Right. So it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, right? Yeah, and so it's on that back, you know, side, in the corner. And, yeah. Uh, he's Mike said he'd do some renditions for us to give us an idea what it would look like, um, and uh, so after the first of the year, we can talk more about that and, and the cost associated with getting that ready. If we're going to do it for the upcoming uh, June election, we'll have to hustle. To get some estimates done, I'm going to ask Landy in French. You could build it, call it the host tower, part of it the host tower. We there you go. The <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've kind of been working on that, and I thought I was going to talk with uh, uh, Port City today, but that got called off. So, but Mike's prices are, I've asked him to put together costs associated with that, and they're not bad. Um, so, um, I'm sure we'll they're see. not good either. <laughs> but also, I just wanted to mention that James, uh, as part of the planning and part of the Brownfield grant, had the opportunity to go out to Los Angeles to an ICMA uh, Brownfield convention. And uh, he came away with some really good stuff. And I told him, I asked him to put it together. And I'd like him to present to you, you what he came away. It didn't cost the town a dime, which was nice. It's all on the, out of the Brownfield nice. money. Uh, and I like that, didn't he? Oh, he liked that a lot. You know, he, he just get to meet with a lot of different people. Oh, yeah, he's a good kid. Yeah, from uh, throughout the country and what's going on everywhere. Yeah. And they talked a lot about small grants for small communities, sort of like, well, our grants weren't small, but uh, so he's got some good ideas. And he's when you go to those things, as you know, you come away excited about what you heard and want to bring that back to your community. What do you think? Do you think he'd make a good town manager someday? I think he would, absolutely. That's his goal. He's finishing up his master's degree this year in public administration and policy. It'd be nice if he, when you retire, just to slide him right in. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah we talk about that some more, too. You dislike him that much? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's got some good skills, and he's passionate about this community. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Think. oh, yeah. And he's got a depth of knowledge for this community that you won't get out of a new person. No. That's what's good about him. Yeah. So we'll we'll talk more yeah. down the road when I, when I'm ready to retire, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not there yet. <laughs> We're having too much fun. So good stuff going on here. But that's what I have. All righty. Is uh, I have no selectman's communications that brings us to our accounts payable. I have a water warrant zero two five from December nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. The amount of nine thousand. $858.40. And I have an account payable warrant 2025 for uh, December 19th, 2019. The amount is $646,415.82. So I'll make a motion to pay the bills. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Um, go down through. We have no more new business or anything. Is uh, no public comment. Is um, is anybody else? We will be coming back in from executive session. Yes, we will. Because yeah. we will be um, making a decision. So um, I'll make a motion that we go into executive session for Title One, Subsection Four Hundred Five Sixty, for the discussion of a labor contract. I'll second. All those in favor? Thank you. Is yes, we will be coming back in after the meeting.
Um, we voted to come out of uh, our executive session. We had a discussion about the labor contract for the police department. Is, um, and uh, it's been in negotiations for a few months here. With, uh, the town manager reports so it has been very good negotiation. And I will make a motion that we ratify the agreement between the main police Main Association of Police in the Town of Berwick for the Police Department as presented to us. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have no other business other than one motion. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor? You want a second? Thank you all. <laughs> Not